instance. That was absolutely murdered. And what are we looking at here, Henny? She's looking at maybe 155 or so, I'd say, here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Good shot there. And this putt to move into the top 20. Wow, was that a rush of blood or something? What's in front of them, Henny? Firm, back, up the hill. This will be a good one. Get in. Oh, so close. Putting for bogey here. And that's a little disappointing. Dropping some spots on the leaderboard. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, come on, sit. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. This is on a stupendous line. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. Oh, that was a touch of class. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And there it goes from the sand. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Harold Varner III currently on top of things as it stands. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Wind blowing straight down wind for her. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one could take a little bounce to the left. 
Well, I'm sure she'll take that one. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This one's 13 feet from the cup. She's got a great look at birdie here. This really looks good. Oh, so close. And that should secure the par on this one. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par five measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left. And if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Or maybe even a par can be hard. Well struck. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge.
And here we are with the third shot. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Well, that's a handy shot. A little 14-footer. It's good to make a few of these per round. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Ouch, that hurts. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And Harold Varner III currently leads this one. The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface, and even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Now yeah, pace this off. She's looking around 185. Looks to be going with the six iron. Getting ready to play their third. That almost went down. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. She needs this to save par. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's two strokes behind his rival this week. Here's Ricky Fowler's next shot. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. And a live look at the leaderboard, and we find that Harold Varner III finds himself in top spot. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole-out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. And if you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal a victory with a birdie. That's a good-looking shot there. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, she's looking at roughly, I'd say, 165. Handy effort, that one. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. And let's have another look at that one. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. And as we take a look at our rivalry results, it's a big thank you to Henny for bringing us all the magic from the course today. Thank you, Luke. The pleasure was all mine. I got to see some incredible shots and some eh, not so good stuff, but what a day. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.